Father. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who because of Jesus is our Father in heaven, on the throne of the universe, very close at hand. We come before you this morning because you have invited us to come. To come with all that we are, with all that is on our hearts and minds, with all our joys, and with all that troubles us. We are grateful for all that you are doing in the world and in our lives. All that is good and gracious, we really are so grateful. We could spend the rest of our time together simply giving thanks for your manifold mercies. And yet, you have invited us to express to you the full range of our thinking and feeling. And you know that we are deeply troubled, deeply grieved, and deeply troubled. The slaughter of innocent citizens in Ukraine continues even as we speak. And our hearts ache. And our hearts rage against the injustice. And with the psalmist, we cry out, why? Why do you let this continue? You are king above all kings and queens. You are able to put a stop to the madness. We know you are able. Why do you not intervene and stop the war? With the psalmist, we cry out, how long, O Lord? How long will you put up with the insanity of war? The slaughter of innocent citizens continues in this part of the world as well. The mass shooting at the grocery store in Buffalo, New York. The mass shooting in the elementary school in Uvalde, Texas. 19 children and two teachers gunned down in their classroom. And with the psalmist, we cry out, why? Why do you let this happen? Yes, we know that humans have free will. And that we too often exercise it against your will. But Lord, why do you let it happen in places where people are supposed to be safe? You saw what was unfolding. You saw the gunman approaching the school. You saw him enter the classroom. You saw he had an AR-15. You could have intervened. You could have stopped him. You are able to stop such evil humans. You are. We know you are. Then why did you not stand in the way and protect the little ones? Yet in it all, we know that you care. We would despair if we did not know that you care. You really do care. The fact that you sent your son into our broken, rebellious world says you care. You are the God who cares when things are going well. And you are the God who cares when we go through times of pain. You are good all the time. You are always working all things toward your good. You are good. When things are clearly good and when things are so confusing and unsettling, with the lamenting psalmist, we too declare that you are good. You are the God who knows our pain. You are the God who knows what it means to suffer unjustly. You are the God who knows what it means to lose a child. You gave your only begotten son on a cross and you know the pain of excruciating loss. So we entrust all those who are suffering this day into your pain-bearing heart. 
Ukrainians who have lost homes and cities and loved ones. New York and Texas parents who have lost their precious children. New York and Texan grandparents whose hearts are broken beyond anything they have known in their many years on this earth. The list goes on and on for people in other places around the globe, for people in our province and city, for people suffering in ways no one knows but you. Please, bring the comfort only you can bring. Please, work the healing only you can work. Please speak the peace only you can speak to grieving souls. With the prophet Isaiah, we believe the mystery of the gospel, that it is by your taking on our pain that you heal our pain. It is in Jesus, the suffering servant, making our wounds his wounds, that all wounds are finally resolved. In light of all you have done for the world in Jesus, we will not let go of our faith that you are good. We face all that is troubling us, and we face it by looking into the face of our crucified and living Savior. And so, we will not stop praying what he has taught us to pray. Hallow your name on earth as it is in, king, on, in heaven. Bring your kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. Cause your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you for hearing the anguish of our souls. In Jesus' name, amen.